President Obama announcing his strategy against ISIS to the world, and today House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy saying the president exposed too much to the enemy. We spoke with Leader McCarthy on Capitol Hill. Well, the president's always good at delivering a speech, and this is something that not only us at the House, but I think the American public is trying to push him to develop a strategy for the entire Middle East. The difficulty of where I had with it, I never make a strategy and then let my enemies know what I will or will not do. To me, it wasn't all a complete strategy. And that's what concerns me, because this is a president that his whole policy about ending the war on terror, now he has to find a way of winning the war on terror. Well, behind closed doors, and I know that there are classified briefings, do you get a different strategy if the whole idea is not sort of to tip, off, tip your hand to your enemies and, and lay out your strategy um, so your enemy knows it? I mean, at least behind closed doors, do you have a better idea of a strategy? You get a little more, but it'd be amazing. Classifies, you don't have, there's not that much more that you hear. And there's a lot of things they shouldn't tell to be able to go through. But can you win it just by the air? Um, I would never tell my enemies when I'm coming, but I wouldn't also say things I would not do. I mean, to me, it's not about disarming, it's about destroying. You're just going to win, you're going to find them wherever they are, and there'll be no safe haven for them. That would be clear enough for me. Many people say you can't win without going after ISIS in Syria with boots on the ground. You can't do it from 35,000 feet. Do you agree with that? You cannot win just by the air, but that's part of what the president is asking right now, called Title 10 in the DOD, whereas you can send some individuals, some Americans over to train. Now, those boots on the ground are going to become the rebels over there that will fight them. And, um, but are they sophisticated enough? Are they going to be able to do the job? Um, I would not take something away. I would do whatever it takes to win. What is the military saying to you? Anything at all about this, whether they're satisfied with the president's strategies he laid out, whether they think it's effective, whether it'll work, how long it'll take? Well, there's a few that have talked to us so far. We, we had some classified briefings with Joint Chiefs of Staff, Dempsey, and others. Um, they've been planning a, a lot of these different strategies out, so um, we'll have to wait and see. It's going to take some time, but the longer you wait, the stronger ISIL gets. And... Um, we all know what a sobering day we are today debating this. What happened 15 years ago with just 19 people that didn't come from a country and didn't have a great deal amount of money where they built their own state. Um, we can't take this lightly, and we shouldn't. That's why all focus should be on it. When do you think there'll be a vote on this? Well, we're hopeful next week. Um, we were supposed to bring up the continuing resolution this week after speaking to the president, knowing he was going. We postponed that. We had a classified briefing today for all. And uh, I've shifted where we are bringing Congress back in earlier so we can get all of our answers um, given to us and the questions we want to ask to be able to have the debate. All right. Well, Tuesday can be eternity in trying to get votes to figure out the votes. But um, I'm curious what the support is. Um, in the House for this? I think you'll find on both sides people would like to see a complete strategy, not a partial strategy, but that doesn't mean you can't go forward with this. Um, but it doesn't solve the whole problem. What do we get out of a partial strategy? We start to engage. Um, Is that mission creep? I've always felt that you've got to have a clear definition of where you're going to go. We know ISIL continues to grow. We know by we have been pushing the president quite some time to act. They have not. He has not. And what happened? They have grown. So I don't think we should wait around. We need to engage now. And that, that means Iraq. That's also building and training individuals. And it also means uh, weakening in Syria. That's also taking out some of their resources where they gain money. Um, that will weaken them at the same time. And But we have to continue, in my view, to get a complete strategy and not... Um, announce to them what we will and will not do. Well, do you think the president did that last night? I don't, I think, I don't think he gave a timetable. Um, he didn't say specifically. I mean, he was actually quite vague. There weren't that many specifics. It wasn't that specific, and he, and he doesn't have to be all the way. But I would be clearer in it. I mean, it's not to, to me, it's destroy them. It's, it's straightforward of what you want to do. We win, they lose. You don't think he did that last night? Not completely, no. Why? Why not? Why do you think that? Why do you think he didn't do that? I, I just feel, I mean, 
the president, when he looks to his whole foreign policy, what he's done, he wants to end the, the war on terror. You have to win the war on terror to end it. And when you set up like in Afghanistan today, a timetable when you're going to depart, you're telling your enemies what's going to happen. I think you've got to destroy them first, win it, and then you walk away. And you can see the rest of our interview with House Majority Leader McCarthy. Just go to GretaWire.com.